So in this video, we're gonna go from iClone 8 and use streaming to get it into Unreal Engine 5 using the iClone live link for Unreal. Oh my goodness. So we need to install two things. First in the Epic Games Marketplace, we type in iClone and install the iClone Unreal live link, install the engine, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Make sure you've already downloaded the add-on for iClone 8 and then from there on the auto setup, click for Unreal. Click the free download in the top right hand corner, install it as per usual, and then a Windows Explorer folder will appear. Now I've got my Unreal Engine project folder already open, but here we grab the auto setup 1.24 for Unreal Engine 5. It's located in C program files, reillusion, shared folders, uh, auto setup. Open up that folder and click and drag the contents into the root directory of your Unreal Engine project. Now back into your Unreal Engine project, we click on edit, then go to plugins, type in iClone, make sure it's ticked. If it isn't ticked, you're gonna have to restart the project. That's fine. Back into iClone, we click plugins, then Unreal Live Link, Unreal Live Link, then the tab on the right hand side should appear. Make sure we're in the transfer menu. Then what we have to do is select what we want to actually transfer across to Unreal Engine. Click on transfer file and give it a bit of a minute. Back into iClone, onto the link tab, make sure you've got selected what you want to actually trans or stream, activate link. Now back in Unreal Engine, the animation should be playing. However, there is a small little bug that if you minimize iClone, the animation will stop playing. But if you kind of just push it to the other screen, should be right and the animation will keep playing. Now let's get this animation into Unreal Engine, Windows, Cinematics, and we're gonna go take record. First thing we're gonna do is change the frame rate to 60 frames a second, because that's what it comes out of iClone. Then we're gonna select source and make sure we pick what we are actually recording. So we're gonna record this character. Now that we've got playing, gonna press the record button and let it record for a smidgen. Once that's done, I'm gonna delete the character and I'm gonna apply an animation. Let's, so let's go ahead and select our character. If we wanna bring it back in to do another live recording session, we're gonna put in that blueprint and just go through the process of making sure Live Link is re-enabled. Now to drop in the character, I'm gonna use the pink one, which is the skeletal mesh, go into cinematics and add in a sequence that I've already set up. Now ensuring that the sequence is selected, let's click on details and open level sequence. From here, I'm gonna go track and add in our actor that we're gonna apply that animation to. From here, we can see that there's no animation playing and that's because we got to sign an animation to the character. So we're gonna press the plus sign and there we go, we've got our animation that we pre-recorded. When we press play, you can see that his hips aren't changing location. So that's the next thing we've got to fix. With that back into content, uh, cinematics takes the date one more folder down and we'll open up this sequence from here what we're going to do is we're going to select all the transformation down the bottom there Control c to copy that let's now go ahead and delete that character select our level sequence open level sequence and make sure that we've got our actual character in there i think i kind of stuffed up here let's go back into animation re-add that animation select the transformation Control v to paste our location and there we go now we've got that proper animation where he's moving his hips around and the location however he's stuck in the ground let's go to the very top add a primitive and we're going to go into a shape make sure we go into whatever let's go into a plane from here i'm going to select the character and copy the transformation of the character and paste it into the transformation of the plane from here back into the outliner, let's select the character and we're just gonna click and drag it under the plane so it's parented. Now what we can do is select our plane, move it around, place it into where it needs to go. Now you can still see the plane, obviously, if we come back to the right hand side and select details, then we can scroll down a little bit to visibility, make sure we hide it in the viewport and it is hidden in game. 